this is Feed Your Mind. And so I've come across some more information about what happens when we dream and even what happens when we're just sleeping. So I've brainstormed on the subject several times. I have old playlists about it, about dreams and what happens when we sleep. And I've been theorizing how it feels like to me when you it feels like when you sleep. I feel like your mind or something inside of you is not sleep. I feel like it's your body that's sleeping. But, you know, you can be in a dream awake while your body is asleep. So you can be conscious and moving around in a whole world, talking to people, um, doing whatever in this whole other reality while your body is sleeping. So you're conscious somewhere and scientists like to say, well, you're just sleeping. So all that's going on is, is in your head. Well, my theories have touched on whether or not that's exactly if it's just as simple as that or if there's more to it. And so um, people have had experiences with a particular substance that I can't speak of that I can't really talk about, but they take this um, substance and the substance is said to be released while you sleep while while you're dreaming and also at the moment of death. And so um, when people have taken the substance, they have had experiences where two people could be um, in that state of mind and they could be in a whole nother world in their head, but interacting with each other, or they'll come back when, when, when it wears off, they'll be able to say, Hey, you know, I saw you somewhere and they'll, they'll have their, they, they had the same experience in, and it seems like in another portal or something or in their spirit possibly is what I would almost assume because how can you have the same exact dream as someone else? Um, or the same exact experience when you're when you're hallucinating in another world. So that's when I started. Um, well, that that actually helped affirm my suspicions about if when you dream, there's a few options. Then, if you want to brainstorm onto whether or not there's any alternative explanations, and so the alternative explanations I came up with was while you're sleeping, you're either leaving your body spiritually you know it can it can roam around and interact with other people sleeping or other you know it, that would mean that you're not just interacting with yourself in your dream you're in some type of realm with other maybe sleeping people or whatever whoever you're interacting with but the most um the most accepted and most common explanation is that you're just interacting with yourself that Whenever you you dream and you're inter you know you see um, you you're talking with family members who, or whoever, you're just it's all in your head, which which uh, makes a lot of sense too. So, but I just really narrowed it down to to the, like if you're gonna go outside of the scientific explanation, it just seems like those are like the two main explanations. So it'd be kind of like an either internet world. You can almost say like when you're dreaming, it's like the web of the of your of the astral plane or whatever you want to call it or or it's just all in your head. And so I've come across um, a woman that that was um, speaking, you know, um, she she had some information about this stuff. But, you know, I don't, well, basically, I'll, I'll break it down. So. I'm not going to get into too much about who it was and, and everything. We're going to just talk about what was she saying. So this woman, is, is I think she practices something that nobody should be practicing, which is the astral traveling and stuff. Nobody, like, do not be practicing that stuff. You're, you're, I feel you, you could be opening yourself up to uh, possession. You know, if, if, you're practic if you're tampering with that, even lucid dreaming and stuff, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend anybody be practicing any of that stuff. But 
I have heard some experiences um, from people who did practice it. And I don't know if they're just, if they always practice it that or if they just have these, um, this um, enlightenment or whatever, but she's, she's claiming that people have this cord and I've heard it from not just this woman, but I've heard it from several people who say there's some type of cord that attaches us to our body that, that our spirit is attached to. Now the Bible says humans are made up of spirit, soul, and body. And so um, it differentiates between a spirit and a soul. And so it says we're made up of these three things. So the body, I feel while it's sleeping, um, this woman says she was pretty much confirming my my brainstorm session where she was saying, yeah, there's a silver. Um, I think her name was Dolores Cannon or something, but yeah, it's like basically she was saying um, there's a silver cord that attaches um, that your body that your that your soul is attached to your body and as long as you're living being with your body that's that cord will be attached to uh, your soul in, until the moment of it's severed which is the moment of departure from this earth for like you know I don't want to say the I don't like to say that other word D E A T H too much it's not you know you got to watch what you speak so I try not to use too much language. Um, no, I'm, I'm real. I'm real co um, conscious of the words that I use. I don't like, you know, I don't just like to say anything. But anyways, um, so, so basically, this silver cord is attached to the um, soul, and she's saying when you're dreaming, um, you know, as long as you're you're alive, that that sort of that, um, that the cord is attached, then. While you're dreaming, it can move around and and travel. Now, now when we discuss whether or not your soul travels or if it's just all in your head, well, it could be one and the same. There's also a third option where it's like all in your head kind of, but instead of traveling in this physical world, it's more traveling in um it's going it's in another portal, if you will, like. You dream your soul is in the spirit world. Your your soul exists in a different dimension. So, um, it's just that world that that it's in. It's it's a it's something that it's just your only that your spirit can be in tune with, or your soul, or whatever. I think your spirit is the Bible says your spirit belongs to God, and then your body belongs to the earth. But your soul, well, that's where the um questions come in some people want to say your soul is your body and your living soul some but there's other there are, there's other thoughts that something inside of you is beyond your physical body and it's your spark of life that um it does not perish you know and even the bible says fear not those who can kill a body but not the soul but instead fear he who can kill both the body and soul so um Basically, if there's this soul, um, if it's if it's in, if it's in tune with a in a world, why especially while you're dreaming, so it could just all be something your mind is making up, but just it, that's just what the soul does, possibly. But it can live in a world, um, and then what really brings into question is, like I said, that example where the two had the same experience. So it's like, okay, so is this a world that they're sharing, that they're both a part of in this world where these people are sharing their ex same experience, but in different in a different world while their bodies sleep. So um, it says that when people wake up, well, the woman, um, Dolores Cannon or whatever, she was saying like when people wake up from, uh, from their sleep, sometimes there'll be sleep paralysis. And what's happening there is this is she's saying is proof of that the soul and body are two separate things because she's saying when when your body wakes up before your soul returns from the portal or dimension it was in from from the spirit world um, that it lives in anyways that it's a part of that your soul is a part of well um the soul would have to uh if the body wakes up you you can't move or anything 
And this is what science or scientists are saying. No, it's because you're you're in a form of paralysis where your body your body um releases something to keep you from acting out your dreams and moving around too much while you sleep, and you know so you don't hurt yourself. It's like your your body knows how to differentiate between moving your arm in real life versus moving your arm in the dream. So that's what scientists say, but. According to this new hypothesis, um, basically your soul, your body would have awoken, but your soul didn't catch up yet. And it has to go. She said some people can be in the astral world and see these people with their cords tied and they know that these people are just sleeping people and they can, there's like a world in there. And um, there's like a, a, a library, there's a, a co that they call like a records, a place of a hall of records and stuff. and. You know, people can travel to these, to this um area. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend trying to travel out of out out of your spirit uh, body intentionally, um, because that's practicing some serious stuff. I, I believe, like, um, but you know, I came across the information accidentally. Like I wasn't seeking it out or nothing. So, look, I know this this woman seems like some type of mystic or something. So I probably shouldn't have been listening to her or whatever. I'm sure. A lot of you are probably thinking, but hey, you know, I came across the information. I didn't really, it was just too intriguing. I had to, I listened to it and it was pretty, um, that's how I find a lot of information sometimes like that where I'm not even looking for it and it just, they touch on things that I've touched on before and that I've thought about and I'm, that I'm like, wow, this is pretty, um, the timing is pretty interesting. So anyways, so she's saying, yeah, that's, that's what's happening with sleep paralysis is that your body had woke up before your spirit had returned to your body with that silver cord. And um, it was still in, you know, doing its thing while you were sleeping. Your spirit doesn't sleep or die, they're saying. Um, your body dies. You, you know, your your earthly your earthly self dies. But um, they're saying, you know, even Christians say like, okay, so well, some people say you just die. You're not conscious of nothing. But... Is that just talking about your body or is that also talking about your spirit? Well, it does say your spirit goes back to God. The Bible, you know, the Bible also says so. What What is, I don't think, uh, there's not a dead thing going back up to God. So, um, plus they, there was resurrections. And so, I don't know. I mean, look, look, I'm just um, throwing this stuff out there because the information was very interesting. And look, it just I, and plus I've heard multiple places about this um, cord that's attached to the body so that was another interesting um, coincidence it wasn't the first time I've heard about that uh, she also talked uh, discussed about life review after the the, the the cord is severed and that that keeps coming up life review where people you know after they depart this world there's like a, a life review and um yeah, so this realm of where your body, like, the, do you think your body is, is um, do you think you're, do you think there's more to sleep than what we've been told? Like, more to dreaming? What do you think about all this information we covered in this video? Uh, I, I really found it fascinating, you know, how, like they're saying, your body just um, doesn't move because your spirit hasn't caught up to your body yet. Like, it hasn't, you know, it hasn't, that's, that's, it was just a little late coming back to your um your spirit was just a little late coming back from whatever journey it was on while you were sleeping uh or whatever portal it was in or whatever and you wake up it's like oh body's calling got to get back to my body and then uh you your your body's already awake your eyes are open you can't move you're like what the what's going on and then uh you just wait a second and then um, I think so. That, according to this information, you could just relax. Then your your spirit is just on the way. It's just take. It's just a little taking a little time. But others have like they panic. They start rebuking things and they see things sometimes. So that's the whole other aspect of it. Is it, is it because they're freaking out? Is the body freaking out? Doesn't know what's going on? So it's uh, hallucinating and like panicking. And then you start rebuking things, and eventually your body. See, I would I would continue to keep rebuking things because if, if if your body's panicking like that if like they they have related it to other things like entities when you go through that um situation or it could be an attempt at um 
stealing your soul or something or stealing your body or whatever who knows what there, there's lots of explanations so check out my whole playlist about dreams because i cover this isn't just the one explanation i cover there's several explanations when it comes to this stuff but this is just one explanation maybe it's something to it you know maybe it's a little bit of everything we've covered maybe it's this or that but we're just covering it all in these brainstorm videos so let me know your thoughts um like I said, I'll leave the link for the dreams playlist in the comment section in the description box. Also, I'll leave a link uh, for my other channels. You can catch me on Feed Your Mind 2 with other content that I don't cover on this channel. Uh, I'll leave the link there so you can subscribe to Feed Your Mind 2. Also, um, I'll leave a link to my social media. Plus, if you support this channel, you can chip in a dollar and, and uh, it helps me continue to keep putting out these videos. Um, it's just like leave you a waiter a dollar tip or something so i really appreciate it it's very helpful thank you for all the support please like comment share and subscribe this has been feed your mind signing off